Hello and welcome to Union Solidarity International. My name is Walton Pantland and with me today is Andrew Brady. Uh, firstly, we'd like to wish you a happy new year and we hope you manage to find some peace during this festive season. Last year was a difficult year for many of us. I think for trade unions it was a year of, of long and hard struggle against austerity and uh, we also saw some important gains being made. Andrew, do you want to tell us what you think some of the highlights were of last year? Well, I'd like to echo what Walton said and wish everybody who's watching this YouTube clip or the iTunes download a happy new year. Not only do I hope you had a peaceful new year, but I hope you had a good time over the new year, which is always very important to me. We like to do that well in Glasgow and Scotland here. But in terms of the highlights for USI, of course it's been our three principal campaigns. Solidarity with Greece, we see that country continue its downward spiral, not only in economic terms, but in terms of the, the fractions within society. And as we've said many times before, this is a, an issue that we hope to keep at the, the forefront of all our campaigning work. And Walton will go on to talk a little bit about what we're going to be doing in the new year in terms of Greece and how we can continue our solidarity with our brothers and sisters, particularly within the labour movement, but certainly not exclusively and of course as we've reported before a major highlight for us was and is the Indian Brick Kiln project. We have been able to because of the social media platform that we have been putting in place over the last seven eight months to raise the finances necessary to fund that whole project benefiting 7,000 workers directly and the countless thousands who are in their families and in the, the supply chains and as you will hopefully have been seen on our website and across our media streams over the festive period you know our project and our partner organization Prias, the work that we are funding was attacked violently physically the union car was firebombed and that was a result of the the great progress that has been made to organize workers and we are happy to say that in the end, because of the pressure that has been applied, workers were able to get a substantial wage increase. Now that's only the very start mm -hmm. of the work that we hope to do with our sister organisation Prias in several regions in India. We want that work to continue, but it's real solidarity, mm -hmm. Walton. It's genuine work that has been put in place that helps to transform the lives of people and although we are a social media based organisation we want a central part of our aims and objectives to be about how we can transform things mm -hmm. on the ground and this is really key for us so those are the, the two highlights for USI not to mention the countless thousands literally thousands of people who are interested in what we've what we are saying and importantly how we are saying it and we've been really encouraged by the level of engagement on our Facebook page, our Twitter page, even some of our uh, more or less profile streams such as Google Plus, uh, thousands of people are engaging in what we've mm -hmm. been doing and it's really pleasing and thank you for sticking with us and you know thank you for enjoying what we're trying to do. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. As Andrew says, we're very encouraged by what's happened in India because it shows to us that, that the model works, the model of uh, grassroots member-to-member -member solidarity really works and ordinary trade union activists around the world are able to reach out a hand of support and solidarity to their brothers and sisters in other countries and make a genuine concrete difference on the ground. And uh, we're going to be doing more of that in 2013. The next project that we're raising money for is something we've mentioned before. It's to make a documentary about the case of HIV positive women in Greece who are being held in prison. Uh, we've already done um, quite, a, quite a good job of raising some funding. We've probably got about half the money we need for that. So to everyone who is engaged with that story or donated some money, thank you very much for your support. Um, we would also encourage you to, to donate some more. Let's fully fund this. Let's get that documentary made and let's get that story out there. Um, and uh, you know, following on from that, I think there'll be a number of really interesting developments in 2013. We're not in the business of predicting the future. We think it's, it's likely to be a difficult year. We've just seen record unemployment in the Eurozone, for example. Um, it's, it's vital that unions fight back now and protect 
the remnants of, uh, of the social democratic welfare state. And I, I think they're going to begin to do that. Um, we saw a very difficult year for unions in the US last year, but we also saw some very interesting fightbacks, particularly among precarious workers in places like Walmart and in fast food restaurants and uh, food production like Palomo's. And I think that is a trend that we're likely to see more of next year. I think more and more people in the US are realizing that the American dream just does not work for a very, very vast portion of the, of the population and they're prepared to stand up and fight for something different. Do you have any things you expect to see, any great predictions for the future? Well, like, like you, Walton, I don't do predictions, but certainly you can see the ruins literally in some cases of the fabric of society. I mean, in the Eurozone, you know, the, the situation is, is desperate. I mean, we've spoken at length before where over 50% of young people haven't got a job and the ones that do is often temporary, precarious work. And that's a point that I would wholeheartedly agree with you on, Walton, that, you know, governments are masquerading the true unemployment and underemployment because of precarious mm -hmm. work. I think this is a time bomb that is just waiting to go off in a number of countries, including America, where we have seen some interesting fightbacks, particularly in Walmart, where people are on zero hours contracts, but are prepared to stand up now mm -hmm. and say no, and that just having a, a job isn't good enough anymore. It's the terms and conditions and the, the, the nature of that work and how they could be just phoned up within a matter of hours and told you don't need to come back tomorrow. This just... Mm -hmm is not acceptable and you know the union movement has got a massive massive challenge ahead of us this year across the whole of the world as businesses continue to contract we've seen what's happened in a number of sectors such as the steel sector eh, the tata steel in the uk the car manufacturing sector ford in southern england and this is happening across europe as Companies are on a capital strike, sitting on billions of billions of pounds of money, but continuing to fund the agenda, literally fund the agenda of wanting more diluted labour laws in order to, you know, try and exploit the workers even more than they already are. So this year is going to be a very difficult mm -hmm. one. Where I don't think we should be under any pretenses. Uh, about the difficulties and the challenges that are out there for, for yeah. families and their children, people going through education and literally thinking about what's going to be happening mm -hmm. in the next couple of months for them. Is it a life, as we say in the UK and in Ireland, on the dole? Mm -hmm. Or will opportunities present themselves? It's looking pretty pretty grim mm -hmm. at the moment, that's for sure. Yeah, I mean, there's a there's a global project right now to reduce unit labour cost to use this financial crisis as an opportunity to once and for all to uh, make work cheaper for employers and to increase profit. And the only way we can resist that is by working together. So thank you for your continued engagement and interest and commitment to this project and to international solidarity. You'll be hearing a lot more from us. Let's make 2013 a year of fighting back and standing up for social justice across the world.